Hello and welcome to this bonus episode in the Climbing of Ledges uh, mini-series that I made. This part is to go through a solution that people have had a problem with and that is with how it detects what is climbable and what isn't. So for example, this is the bug people have been facing with these stairs in particular. If I go up to these stairs, it detects that it's a sort of, some sort of ledge. So it sort of hits it but doesn't, doesn't hit it and you get this sort of weird clipping issue which then climbs up and you get all sorts of weird problems, okay? So, obviously, not ideal. Now, how do we go about fixing that so it doesn't do it automatically for us? Well, the trick for that is to change its trace channel. So, to do that, you go into Edit, Project Settings, and in here, you're going to go into Search for Trace Channel, and click New Trace Channel. And I'm going to call my one Climbable Surface. And in there, we're going to change it to be default response to ignore. Click accept, and there you go. Now, what that does, it basically says to all objects inside the game that there's a new trace channel, and it's going to ignore it no matter what you do in it. So if I click on this one here, for example, I can see it's collision presets when I set the custom, the trace channels available. And to see this, you click on an object, change the collision preset here to custom, and you can choose the trace channel to visibility, camera, and climbable surface. Now, for the things I want to be able to climb, I'm going to change that to block. So I'm going to go to each one of these, change that to block, and this one as well. Change that to block as well. Okay, so there's our objects changed inside our map. Next, I need to go into my player character and make sure my traces are using the same trace channel. So go into my four trace and my height trace and change the trace, cha trace channel to climbable surface. You know, do that for both of those. Hit compile, and there you go. And that's kind of it. So close that and let's test that out. So now we don't get the problem with the stairs again uh, or this. Instead, you get it working as intended with the walls. There you go. And that's how you solve that problem. So the trace channel was only responding in hits if we told it to block. So you can see, notice the red line change is not, is not going green, it's staying red. That's because it's by default ignoring that trace. So we told it to by default uh, to ignore. And that's what's happening also on the stairs here. If I go over here, you can see it changed to green, meaning that's receiving an input. Therefore, when I push jump, it goes into climb mode, and I can now climb. And there you go. And that brings us to the end of that. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to see all my videos before anyone else, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where a simple donation of just $1 a month will get access to all of my videos, plus many other benefits, and it also really does support me out. So thank you so much to everyone who has shown their support uh, for me so far. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help out getting the algorithms and getting out on the search fields and so forth. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.